Hello guys, how's it going? My name is Dalaran and you guys have asked me how to play defensive in arenas and battlegrounds. So let's get on to it and I'll try to explain it in the best way I can. First thing you want to do is monitor. The best way to figure out when somebody's bursting at you is to know when they have their diff uh, no major cooldowns popped. That sometimes can mean you have to learn how other classes are played and what other classes use in order to deal the damage that they do deal. Like in this arena, I decided to monitor the combat rogue because my best guess, if they're a good team, they're going to line up their damage with that of a combat rogue. So I need to watch out for moderate or deep insight and this way I'll know if I do need to pop a defensive cooldown if uh, required. For the most part, you want to anticipate damage and that's what you monitor in the first place. If you use Feint, as long as you run Talent of Elusiveness, which you should be running as a Rogue, uh, that is the current meta, there's certain occasions where you can run Cheat Death, but for the most part you should really get used to running Elusiveness. Feint will reduce the damage you take by 30%. If you do get stunned while your Feint isn't up, that is a problem. Therefore, you want to be able to anticipate when the enemy is about to line up damage at you. So you monitor when they do have damage, and you want to use Feint right before they execute it, right before you get thrown maybe in some crazy stun lock and the damage is just unleashed at you in a smoke bomb, at least you're reducing it by 30%. Also, you don't want to spam Feint because it is 20 energy, but with Combat Rogues and Sinister Strikes being 50 energy, I would want to save as much of my energy as I can to Sinister Strike rather than to spam Feint. Um, when it comes for defensives, with Anticipation, Combat Readiness bleeds into the whole Anticipation mechanic. If you're able to anticipate the major burst from melee, and you're able to pop Combat Readiness right, well not right before, but like, I would say a couple seconds before the enemy bursts at you, you can actually deter their burst. And they might actually go burst someone else, leaving you free to CC or peel for a healer, because it's most likely going to hit a healer with, a, with that burst. Imagine like a Frost DK and a Warrior going ham. <laughs> you would, it would want to, it would want to peel for somebody. Uh, elusiveness, uh, I mean evasion. Evasion is a self-explanatory one, reduces damage. I would use it when you don't have combat readiness, and once you do have evasion, try to face your melee opponents. Therefore, if you are dodging their melee attacks, there shouldn't be a need for you to use feint. Again, still use feint for dissipation of damage. Cloak is an interesting one, and I feel like cloak should be used when the caster DPS are at the prime of damage, when they busted their trinkets and they got the procs rolling. I feel like that's the best way to use it. Because, uh, your CPS doesn't really last all that long, and especially if they're a caster based class, if you're able to cloak when they are at the prime of their damage, and you're able to cloak off all of the dots, then they have to reapply the dots, and then they have to re-ram their damage in most cases. But somebody like a mage, let's say, once they pop um, orb your way and you cloak it, then they're actually just not going to get any ice lances from you, therefore their damage is kind of disrupted. So this is the best way I can play defensive. Another thing you could use is Vanish and give it a Glyph of Disappearance where Vanish is a 1 minute cooldown. And that's about all I can really say. Monitor, pre amp damage and make sure to watch out for where the damage is coming from, who is it coming from and how it's coming at you. If it's coming at you hot with magic attacks, cloak it if you need to. If it's coming at you with melee, Combat Readiness if you need to. If you don't get Combat Readiness, Evasion. And if you are out of options and you need to Vanish, just Vanish and reset yourself. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you watch the rest of this video, one thing you should learn is observation. This video was actually a 5v5 arena where I got trained the whole game by Combat Rogue, Shadow Priest, Affliction Warlock. So if you guys want to watch the rest of this game and just watch for some of the abilities that I do, watch my positioning and watch how I handle the, uh, the burst that's coming at me, as well as how my healers handle it, uh, you're very much free to do so. The best way I learned how to play Combat Rogue is from watching others and watching the other classes play, watching the best of other classes, as well as watching people like Woundman, like the best Combat Rogues out there, and I'll learn a thing or two. So, uh, I learned from watching, and if you learn from watching, hopefully you guys enjoy the rest of this video. It was kind of fun beating this team, and the way we line up the damage was just so good. So I think you might want to watch out for the lineup. Just watch until we line up damage. That'll be enough. I think you guys will be just we will be able to see the unleashment of juicy damage then affliction oh no no that are unholy DK, Ellie Shaman, Combat Rogue, the oddest combination in fives team. The juicy simply juiciest damage that the five paired combo can do. The wombo combo. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. My name is Dalren. If you have any more questions feel free to leave me in the comments I'll make a video on it. Hopefully you guys having a good one.